Praise God. Praise God. Today I'll be talking about how God is always with us. And He will never leave us. Even the book in the nuts. So open with me to Matthew chapter 28. Verse 20. Again that will be Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of age. I mean. Next, I'm going to open to Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my help, helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? These two passages have something in common. They both tell you that God will be with you and never leave you. Matthew 28 20 talks about how God said that He will be with you even until the end of age. Hebrews 13.5 talks about how God will be with you and never leave you and that you have nothing to fear because God is with you. No matter where you are in the world, God is with you and protects you forever. One example of God being with us and protecting us is when Syria and Israel were at war. And the Syria king wanted to capture the Israel king. And the Syria's army camped where the Israel's king was going to go. But Elijah told the Israel's king not to go down that path because the Syria's army will capture him. So the king decides not to go. And when the Syria's king heard about Israel's king not falling for the trap, he was marveled by it and asked his servants he got his slogan, how the Israel's king knew about the plan. And one servant replied with Elijah told the Israel king not to go. And the Syria's king asked where Elijah is. And the servant replied with he's in Dothan. So open with me to 2 Kings, chapter 6, verse 14. Again, there will be 2 Kings, chapter 6, verse 14. Therefore he sent horses and chariots and a great army there, and they came by night and surrounded the city. And when the servant of the man of God arose early and went out, there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots. And his servant said to him, Alas, my master, what shall we do? So he answered, Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elijah prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, Behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elijah. So when the Syrians came down to him, Elijah prayed to the Lord, and said, Struck this people, I pray, with blindness. And he struck them with blindness according to the word of Elijah. Praise God. Solomon. After God struck these people <inaudible> with blindness, <inaudible> Elijah took them to Samaria. <inaudible> and instead of killing them, <inaudible> Elijah gives them food and comfort. <inaudible> The story of Elijah in Syria shows how God is always with us and how He always protects us no matter where we are. To come to an end, no matter who you are 
If you don't believe in him, якщо ми не віримо в нього, or you do believe in him, або віримо, or where you are, чи де б ми не були, either at the store in your room, чи можемо в кімнаті ми, God will be with you, Бог є з нами, and he will protect you, і він захищає нас, and he will never leave you, і не покинуть нас. Before I end, I want to open to Isaiah. І на кінець зачитаємо Ісаю. Forty-one, сорок-перше розділ, verse ten, десятий вірш. Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let's say praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen.